हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव स्टडीड स्मार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स देन ब्लॉकचेन जेनेरिक एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ब्लॉकचेन आल्सो वी हैव स्टडीड ब्लॉक व्हाट आर द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ब्लॉक एंड ट्रांजैक्शंस ठीक सो इन टुडे सेशन आवर मेन फोकस इज ऑन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड कंसेंसेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड consensus uh, consensus mechanism and types of consensus mechanisms that we are going to discuss uh, today so in today's session uh, we will take the revision of previous session and then we will study the new topics like distributed consensus uh, consensus mechanism and types of consensus mechanism after discussing these topics we will summarize the uh, session uh, so we will start our discussion with unit 1 syllabus first we have to uh, see what topics uh, we have uh, covered in previous sessions so as you know students the unit 1 syllabus is divided into two parts first part contains blockchain overview and second part contains the security aspects of the uh, blockchain in part 1 uh, so far we have studied uh, studied uh, uh, the overview of blockchain we have also studied uh, public ledgers we have discussed bitcoin uh, smart contracts in previous session block in a blockchain uh also we have discussed and then in today's session we have to discuss the transactions and distributed uh, consensus also uh, second part of the unit is uh, security aspects of the blockchain that aspects we will discuss in uh, coming session so we will start with the uh, revision of uh, previous sessions so in previous session we have discussed smart contracts smart contract is a secure and unstoppable computer program representing an agreement that is automatically executable and enforceable as we have discussed in previous session this program uh, this smart contract is nothing but uh, uh, it is a computer program uh, that will uh, see uh, whether the conditions uh, are met and if conditions are met then it will allow the uh, transaction this uh, this uh, computer program will automatically come into the picture whenever uh, any transaction is initiated this transaction this computer program will verify the business condition to see whether the business conditions are fulfilled or not and this uh, is done automatically and it will enforce the uh, condition if the conditions are met uh, then it will allow the uh, transaction Uh, so as we have studied a uh, smart uh, contracts uh, is a computer program written in a language that a computer or target machine can understand also it encompasses the agreements between the parties in the form of business uh, logic this business logic is a uh, programmed and this program will verify the uh, conditions agreements and if that agreements conditions are met uh, then it will allow the uh, transaction a uh, so fundamental idea about the smart contract is this program is executed automatically when certain conditions are met and they are enforceable which means that all uh, contractual terms are executed as defined as the conditions are defined in agreement uh, that agree uh, conditions are verified and uh, if the conditions are working as expected uh then it will allow the transaction uh, this program will work in the uh, adverse conditions also if the conditions are not favorable in such situation also this program has to enforce the uh, agreement and uh, business logic uh, so this programs are secure this programs are unstoppable which means that this computer programs are required to be designed in such a way that they are fault tolerant and executable in a reasonable amount of 
at time these programs are deterministic program as we have studied in the previous session uh, so in previous session we have seen smart contracts usually operate by managing their internal state using a state machine model we have learned about the state machine model every data uh, the every blockchain has the state and uh, if transaction is added to the blockchain state of the system will get modified the system will transform from one state to the another state if some modifications some transactions are added to the uh, blockchain uh, so when we whenever the smart uh, uh, contract will verify the uh, conditions uh, then uh, transaction is uh, finalized and it will convert the state of the system from previous state to the uh, next state uh, so this allows the development of an effective framework for programming smart contracts where the state of the contract is advanced the state of the contract is advanced further based on some predefined criteria and uh, conditions so smart contracts are uh, required to be deterministic uh, so if we run this smart con uh, contract program on different machi machines uh, the different machines uh, should produce the same result uh, this is the property of the uh, smart contract uh, pro uh, program so this is software program that will enforce the conditions that will verify the conditions and if the conditions are met then it will allow the uh, transaction a smart contract has the following four properties it should be automatically executable whenever uh, we will try to uh, commit a new transaction in the blockchain technology uh, every node has this smart contract program this smart contract program uh, will be automatically executed and this pro smart contract program will uh, verify the conditions and it will enforce the condition the second property is enforceable this program is semantically sound it should not stop it is uh, this program is secured program uh, it is secured and unstoppable so there are uh, these are the properties of the uh, smart contract program so in previous session uh, in then in previous session we have also studied uh, blockchain blockchain can be defined as a sequence of hash chain blocks the blocks are linked uh, link uh, linked through the hash values uh, you can see the figure in previous session also we have seen this figure whenever the uh, new transaction uh, is initiated that transaction is verified by all the nodes all the participants and if the participants will agree uh, then the block is added to the uh, blockchain. Uh, in previous session, we have studied the generic elements of blockchain. Blockchain contains uh, the first block in the blockchain is called Genesis block. It will not contain the link of a previous block. But but after the first block, the blocks uh, will contain the link of the uh, previous block that in the form of hash value. Uh, it will contain the hash of the previous block and block uh, will also contain the transactions and other and data then we have seen the generic elements of blocks uh, block as generic elements uh, like address transaction block peer to peer network scripting or programming language virtual machine state machine node and as uh, smart contract uh, so every uh, it is not necessary that every blockchain have these components some blockchains uh, do not have virtual machine some blockchains do not have smart contracts so depending on the design of the uh, blockchain it depends on uh, which components which generic elements uh, the blockchain will contain but the basic uh, component that every blockchain must have like address transaction then block uh, and peer to peer network and to design uh, to develop uh, this blockchain system we require a standard programming language then state machine uh, we know that uh, whenever we add a new block to the uh, blockchain the uh, state of the blockchain will change uh, from current state to the next state and the state machine uh, maintains the record of the states of the uh, blockchain from this uh, state machine we, we will come to know uh, what will be the current state in the history and uh, what will the current stand, uh, state in the history and now what is the current state of the machine that we can determine from the uh, state machine then node is nothing but a, a computer on the blockchain network we have studied about the smart contracts also 
so we have studied generic elements of block in previous section uh, blockchain uh, the first generic element in the blockchain is address addresses are unique to identify the senders and recipients and address is usually a public key or it is derived from the uh, public key a transaction uh, the transactions are processed in the blockchain and whenever the transaction is finalized a block is created and block is added in the Uh, blockchain the transaction represents a transfer of value from uh, one address to the another address uh, block uh, block uh, in we know that uh, blockchain is a chain of hash linked blocks block is the important com- element of this blockchain a block is composed of block check uh, block contains a list of transactions and other information also previous uh, it contains the link of the a uh, previous block uh, list of transactions time stamps nonce uh, and then um, block, yeah, other, another element of blockchain is peer to peer network uh, these networks are connected in a peer to peer uh, fashion then next is we require a scripting language uh, to write a uh, programs in the blockchain environment then other generic elements of the blockchains are virtual machine uh, uh, every blockchain don't have this virtual machine this is an extension of the transaction script introduced earlier virtual machine allows uh, turing complete code to be run on a uh, blockchain state machine we know that state machine uh, uh, maintains the uh, information about the state of the blockchain what previous states and current states also uh, so whenever we add a some uh, block the uh, state of the machine will change but we have we should have information about the all states of the blockchain and this information is maintained in the uh, state machine then node node is a computer a uh, node can perform different types of operations like uh, initiating the transaction uh, then validating the transaction mining is also done by no, node mining is nothing but the verification and validation of the transaction so node has uh, different functions and uh, then smart contract is a program on the node that will uh, execute uh, this program is unstoppable it will verify the conditions if the conditions are met then this program will allow the uh, transactions and uh, then we have studied a structure of block uh, block contains a uh, pointer to the previous uh, block it also contain nonce this value is a cryptographic value determined from from the uh, transactions and it is uh, uh, to see uh, whether the block is tampered or, or not as we know that if we try to change the transactions uh, then the hash value will also uh, change and that uh, block will become invalid in the uh, blockchain and uh, then merkle root merkle root contains the uh, uh, hash of all transaction so by verifying uh, the merkle root so we can uh, verify the validity of the uh, blockchain uh, whether the blockchain is tampered or not so it is not necessary to uh, uh, verify uh, hash values of all the nodes uh, uh, all the uh, so all the transaction so merk by verifying the merkle root we will come to know whether the block has changed or or not and block also contains a list of transactions so we have studied in previous session block is merely a selection of transactions and the transactions are bundled together and organized logically in a uh, block uh, the structure of block is also dependent on the type of the um, and design of the blockchain so your uh, the block structure of blockchain uh, block may vary uh, depending on the design of the a uh, blockchain it is not necessary that every uh, blockchain have this type of uh, structure but uh, there may be different structure but the basic elements are same like it contains a hash of the previous block time stamp merkle root and transactions there may be some additional elements in the uh, block depending on the design of the uh, blockchain the elements of blocks are uh, pointer to the previous block hash nonce uh, this is the cryptographic value and determined from the transaction timestamp this timestamp will give the information when the transaction is 
committed when the transaction is initiated it use the history information about the transactions in the uh, block then merkle root and list of transaction uh, these are the elements of the uh, then we will see the elements transaction is a record of an event if we do some transaction transferring some uh, Uh, cash from one node to the another node this uh, this is a one kind of transaction there are several kinds of transactions on the blockchain network and uh, then block also contains a uh, pointer to a previous blocks hash and uh, the first block is genesis block this block does not have the pointer to the previous block but the blocks uh, on uh, uh, apart from the genesis block other remaining blocks have the uh, pointer to the previous uh, blocks hash and uh, then nonce nonce is a number that is generated and used by uh, only once nonce is used ex, uh, extensively in many cryptographic operation, operations to provide replay protection authentication and encryption and then merkle root as we know that merkle root in a blockchain is present in the block header section of a block which is the hash of all transactions and if we want to verify uh, uh, this is used to for efficient verification of the uh, transactions uh, if we uh, by verifying this merkle root uh, we can verify all the transactions present in the merkle tree so instead of verifying all transactions one by one uh, it is sufficient to verify only uh, merkle root so how the transactions will happen in the blockchain uh, in previous four sessions also we have discussed so whenever node wants to start a transaction node starts a transaction by first creating and then digitally signing it with its private uh, key and other nodes can use the public key to verify the transaction a transaction can represent various actions in a blockchain to transfer money to transfer Uh, cryptocurrency or there may be a several type of transaction so node has to uh, first create the transaction uh, by digitally signing it with its private key and uh, other nodes uh, on peer to peer network uh, can use the pu public key uh, to verify the transaction so transaction is propagated or transaction is flooded by using the flooding protocol called gossip protocol uh, to peers Uh, that validate the transaction based on present criteria so uh, the transaction created by node is propagated that transaction is flooded uh, to all the nodes uh, by using the gossip protocol that transaction will go to all nodes and the, the nodes are nothing but miners uh, sometimes uh, nodes are called miners in blockchain technology in uh, bitcoin technology uh, for nodes uh, there is a term miners miners has different uh, functions they have to validate the transaction they have to verify the uh, transaction so usually more than one node are required to verify the uh, transactions and once the transaction is validated it is included in a block that transaction is included in a block uh, which is then propagated onto the network at this point the transaction is considered to be uh, confirmed and the newly created uh, block now becomes the part of the ledger the new block Uh, will become a part of the blockchain and the next block links uh, to the uh, uh, this block whenever the next block is added in the blockchain next block will link to this block and this link is a hash pointer at this stage the transaction gets its second confirmation and the block gets its first uh, confirmation so in bitcoin technology there are six types of uh, confirmation so it depends on the type of the design of the a uh, blockchain how many confirmations are uh, required so it vary uh, on the de uh, depending on the design of the blockchain so this is the um, how the transactions are processed in the blockchain in previous uh, four sessions also we have studied uh, same thing we have re revised again then transactions are then reconfirmed every time a new block is created every time when we create a new block the transactions are reconfirmed and usually six confirmations in the bitcoin network are required to consider the transaction a uh, final so it depends on the uh, design of the blockchain how many confirmations are, are required the main topic of the today's session is distributed consensus uh, so as we know that 
in simple words uh, whenever we want to finalize the transaction uh, in blockchain uh, network all the nodes uh, has to agree on the transaction all the nodes uh, uh, if all the nodes verify agree and then transaction is committed in the uh, blockchain so it is a, a consensus is a process of agreement between the distorting and uh, uh, trusting nodes on the final state of the data the no, nodes they are do not trust on each other uh, this to, uh, trust will come to some common agreement and if these nodes will agree uh, then they will verify the transaction they will validate the transaction block is created and block is added in the uh, blockchain network so to achieve the consensus different algorithms are used uh, it is easy to reach an agreement between two nodes in client server system in client server system there is a server and there is client and it is very easy to reach the agreement between two, two nodes but in uh, blockchain network there are different types of nodes and number of peers that do not trust each other number of nodes number of computers they do not t- uh, trust each other but uh, when multiple nodes are particip- participating in a distributed system they need to agree on a single value all these nodes are, should be uh, should agree on a single value and if these nodes will agree uh, then that block is inserted that transaction is finalized and block is created and block is inserted in the um, blockchain so it becomes quite a challenge to achieve the consensus uh, when there are number of uh, nodes on the network when there are multiple nodes on the uh, blockchain so it is very difficult uh, that this uh, nodes will agree on the uh, some transaction so for this make a purpose the consensus mechanism is used in the uh, blockchain technology there are uh, several algorithms for uh, consensus uh, in blockchain so we will uh, discuss about this consensus algorithms uh, so uh, this consensus mechanism allows a blockchain to represent a single version of the truth which is agreed this truth is ag- agreed upon by all the parties without the requirement of a central authority so in this there is no need of central authority uh, this blocks uh, the, the nodes in the block uh, chain uh, will agree on some state of the machine and if they agree then that uh, block is inserted in the uh, blockchain uh, so this is about the consensus uh, uh, then we will discuss about the consensus mechanism so consensus mechanism is a set of steps that are taken by most or all nodes in a blockchain to agree on a proposed state or value so in this consensus mechanism consensus mechanism is uh, the mechanism of uh, mechanism by all the nodes this all the nodes will agree on some state of the uh, blockchain and if the uh, nodes agree uh, on the state then that state is finalized uh, that transaction is validated and the block is inserted in the uh, blockchain so there are several requirements of this uh, consensus mechanism so we will discuss uh, these requirements one by one there are various requirements uh, requirements that must be met to provide the desired result in a consensus mechanism so there are the these are the following requirements uh, that should be met uh, so first is agreement all honest nodes decide on the same value all the honest nodes will agree on the same value this is the first requirement of consensus algorithm then second requirement of the consensus consensus algorithm is termination all honest nodes terminate execution of the consensus process and eventually reach a decision all uh, uh, nodes uh, will agree on some state of the uh, system and they will terminate this consensus process uh, process and they will reach uh, to a uh, some state they will reach a final decision and when they will reach when then the uh, transaction is validated and uh, transaction block is created and block is added in the um, blockchain then next uh, requirement of this consensus mechanism is validity the value agreed upon by all honest nodes must be the same as the initial value proposed by at least one honest node so if one honest node proposes some value then all the nodes should agree with that value and if all the nodes are agree uh, then uh, uh, they will reach to a final decision in consensus mechanism this consensus mechanism the consensus algorithm 
uh, should be fault tolerant the next uh, requirement of the consensus uh, mechanism fault tolerant the consensus algorithm should be able to run in the presence of faulty or malicious nodes or you can say byzantine nodes uh, integrity next requirement of this consensus mechanism this is a requirement that no node can make the decision more than once in a single consensus cycle so whenever the single uh, consensus cycle is uh, going on uh, the node should not change its decision uh, this node cannot uh, make the decision twice it has to make decision only once uh, so this is a integrity uh, that uh, is maintained should be maintained in the consensus mechanism so these are the different requirements of the consensus mechanism agreement termination validation and then fault tolerant and integrity so types of consensus mechanism all consensus mechanism are developed to deal with faults in a distributed system and to allow distributed system to reach a final state of agreement uh, the final ultimate goal of this consensus mechanism that all nodes uh, should come to a some final uh, decision and they will agree on uh, some state of the uh, system if they agree then that state of the system is finalized so there are two general categories of consensus mechanism and these categories deal with all types of faults uh, and these common types of consensus mechanism are as follows uh, the common uh, the most of uh, the algorithms of uh, this consensus mechanism are categorized into two broad categories there are different algorithms one we can categorize uh, these uh, algorithms into two types uh, the first type is traditional byzantine uh, fault tolerance based algorithms or you can say bft based algorithms traditional byzantine fault tolerance based algorithms uh, so with no computer intensive operation such as partial hash uh, inversion uh, this method relies on a simple scheme of nodes that are publisher publisher sign messages eventually when certain number of messages are re received then agreement is uh, reached so in this mechanism when certain number of uh, messages are received uh, then the parties will agree on the final state of the uh, machine final state of the uh, blockchain uh, so this is uh, first type of the consensus algorithm then second type of the consensus algorithm is leader election based uh, consensus mechanism so this arrangement requires nodes to compete in a leader election uh, lottery uh, so in this uh, algorithm uh, there will be election and the node that wins uh, a election uh, and that node will propose a final value and that uh, value will be the uh, final state of the system all the uh, nodes will agree on uh, uh, the node uh, that will win the uh, election uh, so for example the proof of work used in the bitcoin falls into this uh, category so there are two broad categories of the uh, consensus algorithm traditional byzantine fault tolerance based algorithms and leader election based consensus uh, mechanism uh, so first algorithm uh, traditional byzantine fault tolerance if certain numbers of messages are received uh, then uh, they uh, the nodes will reach to the uh, final agreement they will agree on the final state of the system in this uh, then second type leader election based consensus algorithm in this uh, there is a election and the node that will win the election the node which wins the election will propose a final value of the uh, final state of the system and all the uh, participant nodes will agree on the uh, state of the system proposed by the uh, node that wins the uh, election uh, so uh, there are different consensus algorithm uh, following the list of notable algorithms uh, proof of work proof of stake uh, delegated proof of stake uh, proof of elapsed time proof of deposits proof of importance uh, federated consensus or federated byzantine uh, consensus so there are several consensus al algorithm and this is some uh, notable algorithms uh, that the list is given here uh, so dear students uh, uh, in uh, second unit um, we uh, uh, the we have to discuss more detail uh, about this consensus 
mechanism and consensus algorithm so for the first unit uh, this is sufficient uh, our, we have to only take the introduction of the uh, distributed consensus distributed uh, uh, you might have understood that uh, uh, distributed consensus this is the mechanism of uh, that the parties will agree on some state of the uh, system and for that purpose uh, different types of algorithms are used uh and this will happen automatically this uh, algorithms uh there are different types of this algorithms are uh, two types uh, bft based algorithms and second type is election uh, based leader election ship in the leader election ship uh, someone will in win the election and that uh, leader will um, uh, propose a state of the system and all the nodes will agree on the state of the system so there are different algorithms uh we will discuss about this in uh, second unit uh, for the first unit uh, it's okay so today we will try to wind up this session so in this session uh, we have studied uh, uh the we have revised the blockchain generic elements of blockchain uh, block in a blockchain then we have studied some new stuff topics how the transactions are processed in the blockchain technology and we have taken the introduction of uh, consensus mechanism we will uh, it is not possible to go into the details of consensus mechanism in this unit because we have to study um, the this consensus mechanism in second unit second unit is dedicated for bitcoin so in bitcoin we have to study all these algorithms so in that unit we will study up more about this consensus and mechanism Oh, thanks for watching this session. Goodbye.